It's not just President Biden we've been talking about throughout the program today, not just his age that's taking center stage on the campaign trail, whether it's the slip ups by Biden or his rival Donald Trump. We're starting to get more attention on both of the leading candidates being well over the age of 75 and the issues not going away. Naveen Nayak with us now, president, the executive director at the Center for American Progress. I want to go. Uh, we've been talking about how people have been handling this today. We've, I thought the vice president's comments were very interesting, but I want to play Senator John Fetterman for a moment. You know, uh, questions have come up about his health, obviously, after he had his issues, whether he was fit to serve in the Senate. So he had this to say today on not only Biden, but again on Trump at a rally on gun control with uh, the congressman from Florida, Maxwell Frost. Here's Fetterman. Trump is going on 78, and the president is 81 years old. Does, is it, is it a meaningful? Is that, is that meaningful? Uh, of course, it's, it's the same. There are, are old, older folks that are there our choices, and that's what this nation wants. We want, we're going to have it up again. And we're going to have this done up again in 24. Now, Trump can't know if he's talking about Haley or Pelosi or anything. So we can keep talking about backs and forth on anything. But it comes back to that very core choice that we have with our nation. Do we want order over chaos? Do we want the truth over lying? That's the Democratic perspective, obviously. But the choice is going to be made, as you know, Naveen, by the by the voters, and it's going to be up to them to how they interpret all this, whether it's Biden or Trump. How do you think they will? Yeah, I mean, listen, I do think at the end of the day, if, if this is the conversation, if, if, you know, the press and the conversation gets fixated on age, that's probably not a great thing for President Biden. And I know that this is not the conversation that Democrats or the White House or the campaign want to be having. And I think there are other contrasts that are much more important, given they are both older uh, in their, you know, in their careers, which is both about their policies, but also about their decency, right? I think the other part of that really unfortunate report was, you know, how uh, sympathetic and well-meaning that the President Biden is, which is a significant contrast with Donald Trump um, that, you know, who's continues not only in public, but in private you know, demonstrate a lack of decency, a lack of empathy, being completely uncaring about sort of the American people and about sort of following the rule of law. So I think there are really bigger contrasts that hopefully we get back to. I understand why we're talking about this today, but I don't think it benefits the country uh, and certainly not the Biden campaign. If this certainly is doesn't benefit now. the campaign. You're, uh, and that's obvious. But I do think, and we've talked, by the way, as you know, on this program a lot about the former president and whether or not, especially because of all he's been accused of, he's fit to serve a second term. We've asked that question, talked about that question. When you talk about the question, though, just specifically of age and you look at the polling on it, and we have a, this is an NBC News poll, people are far more concerned about Biden than they are about Trump. 76 percent of the NBC News poll have concerns for Biden. 48 percent have concerns uh, for Trump. So, I mean, again, it's not just about the physical age, but it's an eye test for voters. They look at it and they say, all right, this guy's 81, wants to be in office till he's 86. And, and we see what we see. So voters, it's just a few voters in a few swing states are going to make going to make that call, right? I think that's right. But I think this is why I think it's both important for the campaign to just keep reminding people the job he's actually doing as president. Um, I think one of the really the big points that I think unfortunately got lost or in all of this is if, by, if President Biden were really having trouble with his memory, mm -hmm. we would have been talking about this for months in Washington. There would have been so many leaks, right? He meets with foreign leaders. He meets with business leaders. He meets with community leaders. The conversation would have been rampant that he was, you know, confused. That he doesn't he was take unsure. a ton of questions, Naveen, you know. Maybe, like I was talking earlier about the Super Bowl interview. Didn't You know, he hasn't he said no to it. Maybe you should put that back on. But maybe that would you know, uh, calm some people down on the concerns that you're bringing up. Because you're right, he has all these meetings, but then he doesn't go back and forth with, the, you know, reporters or anybody else as much anymore. Yeah, I mean, my sense on that is we, we I'd be surprised if they ran and did the Super Bowl interview. But I think there's no question there's 270 days, a little less than that now. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to get out there a lot more, not only campaigning, doing those events, obviously talking to local press, national press. I think there's no question that that's going to have to become a much bigger part of the conversation. And yes, we don't want to be talking about his age. He's just got to demonstrate continuing to do the job and doing these interviews and campaigns to show that not only is he more mentally fit, but he is more morally fit um, than Donald Trump. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more.
of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.